All right, so a lot of you guys may have found uh, this little thing here. If you have a right-hand drive car, you'll usually see one of two things. Either this is empty or there's a road flare in there. So apparently mine didn't come with a road flare and I want to keep my car as original as possible. You know, it just that's just the way I am. I just want to have it look original. So I ended up buying a road flare. Now, the only problem with road flares is that they're expired if you get original ones or they're just hard to get. Um, and, and relatively expensive really. And, you know, being that they're expired, they're not going to work. It's pointless to have it there unless you just want it for looks. I kind of want to have a little bit of functionality. So I found this, it's made by Amon, Amon. It actually tells you how to pronounce it there. Um, so yeah, it comes in this little box. It's a road flare, but it does not, uh, ignite. What it actually uses are LEDs. All right, so in the box, you get all this right here. You get the actual flare itself. You get stickers, which apparently, I just lost the batteries, but I might as well show you those first. You get these lone life instead of long life batteries. So it's nice that they come with them. They're, they're labeled as demo batteries. I guess uh, you shouldn't leave them in there. They don't look that good for long-term use. You also get decals, which indicate where it's located. I think this says uh, it's located in the glove box. It's already printed out. Or you can just put it where it is if you don't keep it in the normal location. Now this is the flare itself. Uh, all Japanese to, to keep it original. You'll see it comes with a clear tube over it. This is technically an adapter. If we take it off um, the bottom here, this clear part comes out. And then the road flare, I, I think it's 28 millimeters. And then if you have a 32 millimeter, which is what I have, you, you slip the cover on or you leave the cover on. Once you install the batteries, uh, when you go to screw on the cap, it will light up because it's making contact. But once you screw it all the way down, it will shut off. And that's due to the way it functions. Once it's screwed all the way down, you'll see it's off. When you just slightly turn it, it's going to start flashing. It doesn't look all too bright um, here in the daylight because it is pretty bright. Um, I don't know if you could see that. One of the cool features also, let me just shut this off, is that the bottom is magnetic. So you can stick it to your body panel. Instead of like putting it on the floor, you stick it to the body panel, just like this. You can have it flashing. I got it for less than 15 bucks, which is roughly a, not even half of what they're charging for old flares. I guess those are more original, but I kind of want something functional anyway and without a fire hazard. So this is a good um, alternative. Paid about 15 bucks on eBay, but I'm sure you can find other places to get them. Uh, I did ship from the U.S., so I got it pretty quick. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it.